Hey guys, World Eater here. Today we are going to be going through Galarin. So, this tier might be a little too much for the gear I have. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm rocking right now. So right now I have all tier 8 epics and I have one max tier 8 legendary. So let's see if we can get through this with just one legendary maxed out. I know last tier we were struggling, so let's see if we can do this. Right now I do have a new member to the family. Let's go ahead and scroll down to him right now. Let's see if we can find him right away. Here he is. So we only have one plus two Omo. He has 22.5 uh, dual strike, naturally. I put on a 4.5 in power chance, 3% dual strike and 2.1 in power chance. Now, these are only this low because he's only a plus two, but I was lucky enough to get this brain. 30% chance to heal and shield team. This is probably the best defensive brain for an offensive um, character. It's very good. Uh, it's 30% even at only plus two, so we might be able to get by with just this. Here are his skills. Damage closest, spread heal teammates, Damage random, which is what does the most damage since it is random. And uh, closest to, but that is a 2 SP. So I really won't be using that, especially since the damage isn't that high compared to another attack. So you can just use this one twice and do the same amount of damage or more, so I'd rather not. And we still have our Hilarious as our main tank. I have all... Oh no, I actually switched to two deflect and one uh, damage reduction. So I have an extra... 3.75 and 2.75 deflected uh, deflect added to his 13.5 and I also already have 7.5 damage reduction on him if I feel like this is not enough I can always switch his pumps to all damage reduction I was lucky enough to get some I believe a few of them are blue but still it's not too bad I have uh, the skeletal lining that while I'm below 25% health I receive uh, heals at 40% more effectiveness I have a 32.5% chance to heal team when I get hit, which is pretty good. And I have the damage reduction, uh, the higher my health percentage is. So let's go ahead and go into quests. Alright, Decaying Ruins. Clear the dungeon of all enemies. Let's go ahead and go on in. Now, we can try with Omo. I really want to try with Omo. So let's try with Omo and me in the back. I have the least amount of health, so I will be getting hit by weakest and furthest. So I have to be careful with how I play this out. If it doesn't work out, I will have to swap to another Hilarious. Now, we have two new familiars here. We have Trelpin. He does closest enemy, strongest enemy, and closest two enemies. So, as of right now, just because of this guy, he has low speed, by the way, just because of this guy, I would be safest in the second slot, but that depends on what this guy has. Flurgy. So, he has weakest and closest. So, I can go here, and technically it would be safest for Omo, but I could possibly get double nuked by the fast speed of Flurgy and weakness, or weakest, and the closest to with his slam for Treplin. But I'm not too scared of the slam. It is He is a very weak familiar, um, only because his speed is so low. He's mainly there just to be a tank. So I'm pretty sure we'll be fine like this. Let's go ahead and see if we can auto on through this. All right, so far so good. Let's see if there's any other new familiars in this dungeon. Oh, there is, okay. Let's check this out. Ooh, if I remember correctly, this is the guy you want to watch out for. Scuttles. Okay, closest enemy, random enemy, and target enemy, and his speed is phenomenal. So we have to watch out with this guy. I'm going to have to manual this dungeon for sure. So let's try to take out the back line. I'm going to be using my attack furthest. I'm going to be keeping myself in the second slot because Omo is still safest in the back. All right, that's good. Let's do random. Sweet. Drain to keep the sustain. The back end, random, ooh, okay, that was a good empowered crit. Let's go ahead and just do basic, and a basic, awesome. So I could probably auto this, but I'm going to go ahead and manual this just to be safe. Just because they do have quite the amount of skills that are pretty, um, pretty risky-bisky to go against. I'm going to keep hitting farthest. 
I forgot to show you my weapon skill, so I will do that right after this. Furthest. Okay. That's unlucky that he's still alive, but it's whatever. There you go. Okay. Let me go ahead and show you my weapon skills before anything. Click on my character. Let's go to skills. Right now I am using a spear, which is closest, furthest, closest three, and target enemy for a 2 SP. And of course, my pun pun, which is my spread heal teammate's mount skill. Now, I also have a few other select uh, selections. I believe I have an axe, yes. And I believe that's the only, yes, that's the only other selection I have, is the axe. I will equip it for you right now, just to show you the skills. It is closest as a no, no SP. One SP will be drained from all enemies, which is good for sustain. So if they start doing a lot of attack weakest, I would have to use this uh, weapon in particular. Um, closest enemy for a high amount of damage and a target enemy for a decent amount of damage but not enough for the SP it requires. It really depends, you'd only use this in a niche scenario where you really have to get rid of like someone in the middle or the back end. So it's really, it's a good weapon to use but for the scenario I'm in right now I'd rather use the spear because I'm trying to take out as many damage dealers as possible since there's two of them in the game and not just one right now. Two of these fams are actually pretty uh, scary to go against. So, I'm going to just be sustaining my Hilarious while I try to take out everyone as much as I can with my main. Okay, sustain. I'm going to go for a heal if I can. There you go. I'm going to attack all. Awesome. Sweet. Now, we're getting through this pretty easily. Okay, let's go ahead and auto to the next guy. See where we got to go if there's anyone left. All right, let's see what we got here. Ah, pretty easy team, honestly. This this isn't really too much of a problem since that guy dies fairly fast. And my new familiar seems to really be doing some work. Omo OP. I don't feel the need to heal. I will drain just to sustain that heal brain helping out a lot. That's really nice. Okay, let's go and auto onto the next guy. The chest right here. See if there's anyone else. All right, and there is a coin. Here's one more. Now I'm going to click on Scuttles one last time, so we can see his health. You see, it's only 283. That is why we're destroying them so fast. As you see, I can almost one-shot him just with that ability alone. What does this attack do? Too close? It's not worth it. Mm, how much damage is that? Let's try it. That's nice, actually. Take one out. Do another attack three. Perfect. Two attack threes is a lot of damage. Or attack two and attack three. Let's go ahead and continue. Uh, let's auto onto the loot. There you go. Some XPs, rares, and commons as usual. Let's go to town. All right, we got some rune fragments. Now for flag two. Treplin's Vault. Find and defeat Mega Treplin. We're going to be getting some critter jelly here. All right. So we're going to keep the same old, same old team. We're going to go Hilarious, Omo, and me in the back. All right, let's go ahead and check this out. No one knew. I think we can honestly auto this. Let's try to auto this a little bit. Now, since it is the same layout, I am going to put myself in the second slot. Let me go ahead and swap over real quick. Technically still the safest in the middle. Or having Omo in the back, I'm sorry. Let's try to auto this. If it starts to look like we're getting a little too low, I will actually be manualing. You know what? Let's manual, actually. I want to manual because there is a mega version of a familiar in this dungeon, and I want to have SP for that fight. So I'm going to manual and take over. We're kind of reaching that spot in the game where autoing isn't really that easy without sets, and sets are just too expensive to get. So you really don't want to be farming sets in this part of the game. It's really too early, so a little bit of manual never hurt anybody. Once we get to the set portion of the game, it'll be a lot easier, I promise, but it'll also be a lot harder since you are going to be needing those sets to get by. I'm going to keep using 1 SP and healing with Omo, since Omo gets a pretty good amount of SP. See, that now that I'm not hyper-focusing the guys in the back, they are hurting me pretty bad. So I might have to start using SP to take them out first again. Now that I'm max SP with my character and I'm close to max with Hilarious, I don't mind using some. Okay, 
this guy's not too bad. But the guys in the back, we definitely gotta get rid of. Okay, it's unfortunate that I hit him. Let's go ahead and go back. I'm gonna have to use my mount skill to heal. That is very unfortunate that we had to use that, but as long as we're topped off, that's all that matters. Like, being topped off, if we're around the corner from the boss, it's better to be topped off. Okay, so we're not. I feel like he's right after that scuttle, but I'm gonna go ahead and come through here just in case. Take it inches at a time, make sure that you don't run into anybody. Yeah, it seems like he's gonna be behind that scuttle, so we're gonna go up to him right now. So let's go ahead and target the back line. Perfect. That was the perfect scenario. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the guy in the back. Awesome, and then we're just gonna one, 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 one. Nice. We got a little bit of SP, not a lot, but we have a little bit. And now the boss should be right here. Oh god, okay, so hopefully he doesn't get too much speed because then he's gonna be attacking me like crazy. Let's go ahead and go on through kind of worried about this guy oh so he's solo he's solo let's take a look at him closest strongest closest too so pretty much Eulerius and I are gonna be getting nuked I don't think we should be sustaining I think we should be doing as much damage as possible on this guy he doesn't have any sustain so I'm just gonna be doing all the damage I possibly could okay how did he hit him Oh, he was technically strongest since I have lowest and he had low health. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pop a potion on him right now. A medium. He's lowest, so he, he doesn't need a potion right now. He's safest no matter what. If you pay attention to his skills, there is nothing that could possibly hurt him no matter what. Unless I get lower health than these two guys right now. Which might be possible right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just put myself in the front. Omo actually has it died yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop a potion on him, put him second, to keep Hilarious alive. Okay, now that I have died, I can pop a revive potion on myself. We should have this. It should be over. Oh, that evade might be a game changer, though. Let's put Hilarious front so we might get a lucky deflect. Put me second. Nice. We did get a lucky deflect. Let's go. Alright, so we took care of him, but as you can see, with the gear that we had, we were kind of struggling. Um, at the very end, we were almost near death. We had to pop a potion on all three, and that's because I have a legendary maxed out helmet. So, you are going to definitely need this amount of TS, or you're going to need your maxed out Omo for sure. The maxed out Omo will make a big difference, but maxing out Omo is quite a pain. I'm going to go ahead and show you where I got him real quick before we proceed to the next flag. So, just to go ahead and show you where I got Omo, I'm sorry if I forgot to show you. You're gonna go to World Boss. I'm gonna summon real quick to show you. I got almost schematic and any tier World Boss for Nether. Let's see. Omo, right here is the first epic one you see. The only place to get it is in Nether World Boss. Then you farm up Omo. Let me show you real quick. You have to get Oppo to make Omo, and you need a lot of Oppos to make Omo. Oppo is a rare fam, which will be this guy right here. You've seen him before. If you go here, you can see Uzumeyer. Uzumeyer is where you can find him. Uzumeyer, you're just gonna keep farming that dungeon over and over and over again until you get as many of them as you can. Do not bribe them, just use uh, persuasion with gold. No gems required at all. And that's how you get him. You also need demon blood from the world boss. I will show you the schematic real quick just to make sure you guys are squared away with that. See right here? You need 10 demon blood and 6 opos just to make one omo. He's pretty expensive, but he's worth it. Trust me. Now we're gonna go ahead and go to quest. We're gonna go to flag 3. Flurgy's Vault. Find and defeat Mega Flurgy. Now that is gonna be the scariest thing ever. Hopefully we can get by this because Flurgy is very strong. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to want to use Omo or if I'm going to want to use a second Nularius. We'll go like this for now. Since it's the, since it's the same layout, I'm going to put Omo in the back. And I might switch to an axe when we get to the late game at the, at the boss. So let's go ahead and manual on through this with the spear. But I might need some sustain. This is a lot 
a lot of scuttles, so that's pretty bad. This is worst case starting scenario. Good thing is we are doing a lot of damage right away. And we got out of there with full health. Lucky us. Alright, we have half SP too, so we technically just started over again with a little more SP. Now, if I was Flurgy, I think I'd go down this path. This path just seems like a Flurgy path. Okay, let's go ahead and take out Scuttles. Almost got that. That was close, actually. Let's go ahead and random. Nice! That's one of the ones we wanted to get, and now we can just build constant SP. We're good. We are good. SP builders here. Alright. Let's get some gold. Unfortunately, we chose the wrong path, but we were able to get a lot of SP build, and we were still near full health, so that was worth it in my book. So here's the Scuttles. Again, just checking his skills, random, and target. And he does the most damage, I think, compared to Flurgy. Yes, he does, so I will be taking him out first regardless. And this is attack two. Let's try that out. It actually doesn't do that much damage, unfortunate. So it was worth a try to see how much it did, but it was not worth it me and at the same time. Let's go ahead and just use our zero SP to save some SP. Alright. It looks like we're gonna have to fight every familiar in this dungeon just to get to the Mega Flurgy. That's unfortunate. So, just so you can see Flurgy real quick, closest and weakest. So, when we get to the boss, Omo is technically safest in the middle. Actually, no, I mean, it doesn't matter. He's safest in the back regardless. So, we can just keep him in the back. Let's go ahead and target out the back line here, see if we can save some SPs. Nice. Alright, get another Flurgy, please. Ooh, that's good. Go ahead and attack the back line. Self-sustain. Let's just use M1 since we're pretty close to killing both of these guys. I'm gonna use my attack three. Nice. Heal up. And attack M1 regular. Let's go. Sweet. So we should be coming up to the boss right now. There he is, right after this guy. So hopefully this is a decent team to go against. This is actually a pretty scary team to go against. Good thing is we got the same target twice. Let's go ahead and save SP on Hilarious. He might get a lucky heal from his brain. Um, it's just M1 here. Just do regular attacks here. I'm gonna attack the back line with my main. We're doing good so far. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP. Perfect. Best case scenario was an SP feed right before boss. Let's go ahead and try this out. Again, this is my gear. All epics with one legendary helmet maxed out. I do have another legendary ready to upgrade, so hopefully we don't need it because I don't have the match for it and I would have to come back in a later time to finish this, but let's go ahead and push on through. Okay, just to look at him one more time, weakest and closest. So he already did quite a lot of damage to me. I'm going to keep myself that low, so hopefully these guys can heal me up while I do damage. Now I'm not going to be using my heal per se. Hmm. Actually, let's try it. Let's try the heal. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I got an absorb proc, which is more than perfect. Let's do some random here. Okay, he's hitting pretty hard. Let's go ahead and pop a heal. That heal might have been a waste. Alright, let's pop another heal. Keep me alive. Alright, I just died, sadly. So let's go ahead and major revive myself. Let's go ahead and random. Okay, we are going to potion him with a medium potion. We should be fine. Nice. Okay, we were able to do that. No problemo. Just one uh, revive. So we should be fine. One revive and one potion. But Opo, or sorry, Omo was left unharmed. Bunch of commons, a rare or two, some XPs. Same old, same old. Now we're going to be going to the first dungeon, I believe. Oh, it's another four flag area. So we're on a fourth flag. Oh, here it is. Mega Scuttles. So this is going to be problematic. We're going to keep Omo in the back. Same teams as always for this dungeon. So, man, that's going to be troublesome. Good thing is his health is pretty low, but his speed is redonk. Look at that speed. So it's going to be a little hard. 
we are going to have to take out Scuttles first, because as you can see here, a team of Scuttles is very dangerous in comparison to a team of Flurgies. Let's try to M1 here. Just uh, use our basic 0 SP. Nice. Okay. Okay, what's up here? A Flurgy. See if we can dodge any familiars. Uh, let's try to SP farm off this guy. This seems like a longer path anyways. Nice! This is a perfect SP farm. See if we can hit that random. We can't. Alright. Hit the back line. Heal up. Closest, closest, closest. Drain. Back line. And then we can heal up and just S, um, 0 SP. 0 SP, 0 SP, 0 SP, 0 SP, 0 SP, 0 SP. Let's do a heal. Do a drain. 0 SP, 0 SP, 0 SP, 0 SP, 0 SP. Nice! Look at that. Pretty much topped off with almost 3 SP on the main and almost 2 SP on each familiar. So let's go on through. Another possible SP farm right here. Let's go ahead and see. Ooh, it's a little scary, but let's just target the back end. What is this? Target enemy for almost 3k. Back end for 2.5. Back end is much, much more uh, efficient. Let's do a, tar or a random. That's unfortunate that we got the closest guy with a random, but it's fine. Back end, random again. We <laughs> critted this guy pretty bad. Okay, let's do strongest. Or not strongest, uh, closest, but the stronger variant. Let's do zero SPs here. Yeah, we're fine here, zero SPs. Okay, here we're not fine. So I'm gonna do a heal, and then a zero SP. Nice, perfect. Not quite topped off, but we have a lot of SPs in the main, which is great. Let's go ahead and go for the coins. Here's the Mega Scuttles, okay. So, I think we're pretty good to go for him now. Let's go and try him out real quick. Now, we might be relying on those deflex. Okay. See how much damage he already did to us. Just starting. I don't think we're going to be healing at all. We are going to be doing as much damage as possible. Okay. Alright. Just do whatever abilities cost the least doing the most damage so 1 SP skills are usually your best bet we're staying pretty healed off I don't want to lose Eulerius because then he might nuke me right away after so I'm going to use an average healing potion all right let's do the random perfect okay we're going to heal him up so he doesn't lose any SP since he has a little bit charged and we got through this like nothing perfect so as long as you don't focus healing and you just do as much damage as possible, since he is such a low stam familiar, even at his mega variant, you should be able to take him out. I'm going to go ahead and continue because I do believe we can get through this like nothing. Even with the weak characters we have right now, just in case we get, I don't know, some gems. You never know. Let's go ahead and heal up here. Do our strongest attacks. Just to get rid of him. Nice. Oh, he evaded. Okay, and that seems to have been it, I think. Oh no. One more familiar and one more coin. Alright. We have no SP, which is a shame. Can't finish this too fast, but we should be able to do this like nothing. He might take me out. Psych. Alright. Attack three, get rid of the back line, attack the front, and there you go. This is over. Now, we should be getting to the first dungeon. Alright. Okay. Gugumin's Vault. Find and defeat Gugumin's. Good thing is, you got your carries. You don't need anybody. We got me right here. And we got me right here. Yeah, matching. That's right. Let's go. We also got Roasty Chicken. He's a bucket of chicken, as you can see. Riding a chicken with a pet chicken and another chicken following him. Let's go for it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and auto on through this until we get to the boss. So enjoy the content until then. I am the spooky Googamans. Ooh. <laughs>
No. Oh, I can catch it on time. Okay, so I'm gonna have to show you them right after the dungeon, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, just standard XP's, a little bit of gems, which is great. And I believe we got gems as a reward. Let's check it out. Nice. Some more gems. Let's check this out. So let's go to the familiar. Let's go way down to the bottom. So she should be right. No? Oh, God. Okay, so finding her is going to be a problem. Give me one second. All right, Gugamins. Let's check them out. Closest enemy. Oh, that's a nice animation. Is that a head? That's a head. Okay. Um, all enemies right here. All enemies. That is really cool. I like her animations. So all enemies, but very low speed. Very high damage, though. So that all enemies, when she does it, is going to hit a little harder than usual. Uh, spread heal teammates. Not bad. Uh, target, I doubt she'll ever use it, but um, if she does, it looks pretty devastating. That's a decent chunk of damage. She has average health. You could take her up pretty easily. Um, I don't think she's too much of a problem except for this damage all enemies. She can just keep poking and poking and poking at your uh, DPS or healer familiar. So you would probably want to uh, prioritize her depending on who's in the back. If, she's, if you see Scuttles, I still think Scuttles is more of a priority. Honestly, I really do. So you want to take out Scuttles and then Gugumins. Um, I don't think Flurgy is too much to worry about, so you should be fine, but uh, Scuttles and then Gugamins is uh, what I would do if Scuttles is in the picture. So let's go back to the flag. We are now on flag five. All right. I cannot pronounce that, but who cares? Att clear the dungeon of all enemies. Let's go. We're getting some mount guts, which is great because we need a little bit more to make our first legendary mount. So, with the team, I'm going to put Omo back in the middle because we don't know what we're going against. Let's check this out. Oh, I remember this area is quite a nightmare. So, see how they attack so fast already? I'm pretty sure that was Candle Bros. Okay, so, we have Marm here, which is closest. Spread heal, kind of annoying that she heals, and damage all. So, she can either poke or heal, whatever she wants to do. Low speed, higher stam than anything, so she's not too much to worry about, but she is a healer, so pretty annoying. This guy right here, Findle, one of the annoying fams for sure. Closest, heals target. There's a lot of sustain in this, as you can see. And weakest, for almost 1.1k, he can hit you if he's lucky enough. He has slow speed, which is great, but he is a heavy hitter, as you can see. Now, these two may be slow, but this guy in the back, I promise you, is their speedy guy. Yep. He has the fastest uh, out of all of them, and he has the most points in the speed. He's closest and strongest, so he's going to be nuking your Hilarious like crazy. You'll be wanting to rely on your Deflect, so it's a good thing we have two Deflect pumps on him to attack this guy, because his health is pretty low. He's usually in the back, so you can just use your Spear in this area. So there's a lot of closest and weakest. So technically, Omo is safest in the back, so we're going to have him in the back. Alright, so start off with a 1 SP. I doubt I will be able to auto this, so I'm going to manual this for sure. Okay, let's go ahead and attack the back line. Alright, now we can attack random. Let's do a drain for some sustain. As you can see, this is the first flag already struggling a little bit. And this is the first group of enemies. Like, yes, we're doing good, but this you have to remember this is the first flag before the second dungeon, so we have to be careful here. These four, uh, four flag areas are a lot harder, in my opinion, than the three flag. I like going to the middle here, taking a chance. Okay. So, nothing there, nothing there. We have to go through Marm, which is fine. She's a Marm. Marms are farmable. Okay, perfect. This is a perfect spot to farm. Hopefully we get him. Nice! Okay. We just need one more back-end spear, and we're just going to spam one, spam one. Spam one. Just keep spamming your one. Don't even worry about their SP. If they poke, you can heal. Just keep spamming one, keep spamming one. These zero SPs for the win. Look at that SP farm we have going on. We are topped off completely. Everything except shields. We just need a little bit more SP, but by the time we take our first turn, we'll be getting that SP. So that is fine. All right. So we have to fight Candle Bros. Deflect. Nice. We got a little deflect action going there. Let's hit the back. Let's hit a random. Nice. Zero SP. Let's hit a back. Just take him out random. That's unfortunate, but it's whatever. A back end. A random. Ooh. Nice. Okay. And I will just do uh, zero SP. 
just the same. Perfect. So I'm gonna be getting some gold real quick. And then I will be going up this path, I believe. Okay, let's see what's over here first. Awesome, see, that's why I like looking around. Okay, cool. Man, we have quite a bit of enemies still. I'm gonna take out these cannibals real quick because I think we have to clear the dungeon of all enemies regardless, so it's fine. Let's go ahead and attack the back end. Hopefully we get them taken out real quick. If we don't, there we go. Now, zero SP would probably be best here until we get the attack all. I will do a heal. Nice. Strongest, strongest. I gotta remember this is an SP shrine here. So I can use as much SP as I want right now. I'm gonna use a lot more SP on this guy right here. When you have an SP shrine, don't be afraid to use your SP. Like, that's what it's there for. So just keep nuking them. Staying, uh, sustain is the best thing. So keep sustained and nuking all the DPS fams as much as possible. Don't even worry about your, your um, SP at all. Remember, there is an SP Shrine right here. So, I wanted to max out, but I couldn't. That's fine. Um, let's go ahead and get this SP Shrine real quick. So we are pretty low on SP. I believe there's just one familiar left, which is the Findable Top. So, let's go to him right now. Alright, so we have a pretty scary team. I'm glad we got that SP Shrine right now. So we're gonna attack the back, attack random, strongest, attack the back, attack random, strongest, attack the back, attack random, and we just auto on through him since he is the last one. Nice. Oh, oh okay, I was worried. I'm like, he is not the last one. Okay, he is the last one. We got um, a rare schematic and a bunch of commons with some XPs and gold. All right, some mount guts, nice. Okay, second flag. Find defeat Mega Marm. See, this one, this one sounds pretty easy because it's Marm. Um, I believe Omo was safest in back. <laughs> let's check it out. Let's check it out. I can't remember. Um, let's go ahead and go through this one more time. All right, we have everyone here, which is great. Strongest, so definitely not the front, and weakest, so yeah. Safest in the back, regardless. Unfortunate that she's almost dead. We wanted to feed off of her a little bit. Oh, I'm taking quite a bit of damage there. I'm gonna need to heal on up before I lose myself. There you go. That was just a very bad first start. Candle Bros hit pretty hard, as you can see, when we get to the Mega Candle Bros. That is going to be a problem. We might not even be able to uh, um, utilize the Omo. We might have to utilize two Hilarious when we get there. We'll find out when we get there, though. Okay, so. Pretty rough start. We have some SPs though. A little bit lost health, so it's not too bad. Candle Bros is the problem, as you can see. Every time there's a Candle Bros, we do take quite a quite an amount of damage, so. But these guys hit pretty hard as well, so we have to take care of them as fast as possible. The more there are, the more devastating, so he healed himself. I'm going to attack closest three, and then I'm going to attack closest. Nice, okay. So, strongest attack for closest. I keep forgetting what it is. I'm just gonna say attack closest. Or one SP, there you go. So I'm gonna use my zero SP. I'm gonna heal zero SP. Zero SP. Heal. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP. Okay, cool. Nice. Not too bad. Got some uh, SPs for my main. A little bit for both of each also. So let me go through this jam bag. Ooh, ooh, a lot of gold. Okay, um, I believe we had a Mega Variant, so we don't have to fight that guy. Now, we are going to have to go to this Candle Bros, but before we go to this Candle Bros, I want to go over here. He might be behind this guy. You never know. Sometimes it is that close. So, I'm going to attack the backline first. Random. Unfortunate. Uh, zero SP. Backline. Random. Unfortunate again. Drain. Backline. <laughs> random. Man, Marm just loves those random hits, okay? Uh, one S or zero SP, sorry. Backline, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP. Just keep spamming your zero SP. You should be able to take care of him like nothing. Okay. Behind him. <laughs> A nice, beautiful coin that we so needed. Perfect. <laughs> so let's go for Candle Bros here. 
Now, the boss should be on one of these two paths. I'm just hoping that it's not a difficult option to choose from. Let's go ahead and do random perfect scenario right there. Let's do a drain. Let's do a one SP, or sorry, zero SP. Let's do a heal. Let's do a drain again. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, heal. Zero SP, zero SP, heal. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP. Perfect. Okay, it's unfortunate that Elmo doesn't have too much health. What's very unfortunate is that you can't see what's past this area, so. Good thing is there's nothing up here. I believe we're at the best case scenario we could possibly be at right now. If we went for Findle, we might lose too much health or SP, so we're gonna go through here. And here is a Mega Marm. We will go ahead and see what she has right now. Shh. Oh, library. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and, oh my. She hits pretty hard. That's uh, surprising. So she has a spread heal teammates and damage to all enemies. So technically you're not save us at all. I think we just have to do damage, 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 damage. So let's just try nuking her out. Hopefully we got this. We're looking pretty scary right now. We're pretty weak. Okay, we already wasted our potion on Hilarious. So we're gonna have to just damage, damage, damage. She's doing a lot of evade, which is unfortunate. So... We might lose Hilarious here. Let's go ahead and put him in the back real quick. Put me in front. And let's pop some heals off. Let's do my mount skill. Okay, we can put Hilarious back in the front. Put me back in second. We gotta rely on those deflex. Keep him alive. All right, we're looking pretty weak. I don't want to lose myself for sure. I don't want to lose Homo. Nice, we barely got through that. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to town. I don't think we can do it without Hilarious. So let's go to town. Nice. Okay, we got some gems there, not too bad. What did we get here? Some component cream. So again, I'm gonna show you the gear I have. This is the gear I have. I have one maxed out legendary and all maxed epics for the current tier. This is pretty hard. You're going to need at least one maxed legendary for sure. I really doubt you can get through this without a max legendary unless you have really good accessory and pet combo or maybe already having a legendary mount then perhaps you can but as of right now i really really don't think you can so let's go ahead and go through this i think this is a stopping point this is uh if it's scuttles or not scuttles spindle spindle's not too bad he's pretty dangerous but when it's once it's a uh, king or mega candle bros that is where it is going to be problematic so for right now, we can utilize Omo. Let's keep him in back. Okay. Take his little... Let's try to build up SP before we go against the Candle Bros. Okay, this is not too bad. Let's just spam our zero SP for now. We should be fine for a little while. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, zero SP. Okay, here's where we gotta heal. Let's go ahead and heal up. Good drain. Do a heal, do a drain. Okay, and then just zero SP. Let's see if we can get a heal off. We cannot. That's fine. That is fine. We got plenty of SPs charged up. Alright. Let's go around this guy. Avoid all fights as much as possible. So that Candle Bros is out of the picture. Um, as of right now, we can either go down this path, which I kind of doubt he's there. Or this path, which I think he's behind here somewhere. So we're gonna fight this guy. Okay, this is a bad team to go against. Hopefully we get him with the random. We did not. Because he's going to chunk us if we don't get rid of him. Nice, okay. So let's save our SP and just zero SP right now. Get a heal off there. Zero SP, zero SP, zero SP, and zero SP. Nice. We're looking pretty good. A little scary with the missing health, but it's not like a substantial amount so we should be seeing the mega guy soon Ooh, this might be the perfect case scenario okay. we're going to attack the back line random yes perfect okay so we're gonna drain just to keep that sustained back line random nice okay drain back line almost random oh unfortunate yeah getting it three times in a row is uh pretty rare so we're gonna make sure that we're all healed up. These guys are hitting pretty hard, surprisingly, for being marms. Um, I think we're good with health. Let's heal up there, like that, perfect, okay. 
So we have a decent amount of SP on the main, which is what I really wanted. Um, I hope he's alone. If he has Marms, it's going to be very problematic to go against him. Let's see if he's alone. The kite did fly wildly in the high windeth. Those words were the cue for the hero liveth. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, he's alone. He hits hard. Oh my god. Okay, so let's take a look at him. Closest heals target teammate and weakest. He is going to destroy me. Okay, so let's start off with as much damage as possible. If he hits me a little too much, then maybe. Oh my god. Okay. So let's try healing him up. Okay, that's nice. That's a nice little heal we got off there. We might have to use a potion on him. Let's try healing him up again. That was a good heal. Oh my, okay. So we're gonna use that major revive. This is why you didn't use any before. You wanna save him for scenarios like this. Let's go ahead and do that, that, okay. Looking pretty scary. Let's put me up front real quick. Let's go and get a heal off. Ah, putting me up front was probably the worst idea ever. So let's not do that again. Man, he's taking a beating. So am I. That is scary. Okay. This might be the stopping point right now. We'll check it out. Okay. Let me get some deflect action going on. Oh, God. Oh, okay. So we got defeated, but it did not look impossible. Let's go ahead and try to do that again. Perfect star, candle bros, huh? Okay, that's whatever. That is a very terrible start. Two candle bros and a Findle. Oh man, let's try a random hit. A terrible random hit. Let's try to, try to take these guys out as fast as possible. That's the only way we can do this. Let's get a heal, actually. Stronger hit. There you go, we didn't do too bad there. Not too bad, actually. A little bit of SPs. Afraid of this corner. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. Um, attack the back. Random. Perfect case scenario. Let's drain off of him. The back. Closest. 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 Heal. Um, closest. The back. Okay, and just spam your one or zero SP. I'm sorry. Okay, we have an SP shrine here. So we can technically just keep ourselves sustained while taking them out, which is what I'm going to do here. Just use as much SP as possible, keeping myself sustained. Remember when you have SP shrine, sustain is the, he evaded that. See the evades are what gets him to live so much whenever you fight the mega variant of him. See we have a drain, we do have a drain. Just use as little damage as possible to keep yourself maxed. Nice, okay. Awesome, okay. Let's go ahead and check this out. Okay, perfect. This is actually the best case scenario. So you're going to SP Shrine. Make sure you're max. We have a little bit of shield on Omo too, which is great. Hilarious has a little hiccup, but that's fine. Let's go on to Findle. Okay, that hurt so bad. I'm gonna use my mount skill right now just to max out. There we go. And that did not matter apparently. He is taking me out pretty bad. He is really choosing to target me out. Yeah, that does not seem like it's going to happen. Okay, we might be lucky here. Let's try another major revive. We might need double hilarious. Oh, if only we had one more potion. Uh, let me just try healing him. You never know. Oh, nice. That heal actually might have helped me out. That is nice. We ended up taking him out. I think we got an empowered dual strike crit on him. So we got pretty lucky. I am going to take that W and I'm going to head straight to town. So as you can see, this gear is enough. You might have to do some trial and error. You might even have to do W hilarious, but that did the job, so let's go ahead and go to town. Nice. So we are now on the last flag. This flag is 
a nightmare. I will tell you that right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try it with double Eularius for anything. Okay. So, this is pretty scary. I don't have a staff to keep us sustained. What I can do is put myself up front with the axe like last time. The axe was one of my moves or my strats that I used, but if you remember correctly, I am the weakest and I do take quite a bit of damage. I might have to swap one of my things to health. So let's try axe. When we get to the fight, we'll put myself in the front if we need to. Okay, let's go this way. Believe you. Okay, let's put me up front and then let's just drain. And we're just gonna keep saving SP as much as possible. Drain. Save SP. Drain. Save SP. Save SP, I'm still pretty good. I don't need to drain just yet. I'm still good. Alright. Nice. See, this strat's working pretty good. And then when we get to the boss, we can weapon swap. As long as we don't run into the boss like this, then we should be fine. Okay. That was lucky. Now, as you can see here, there's nothing behind him, so we don't have to go that way. I hope the boss is there. Okay, he's right here. Perfect. We have a lot of SP. Problem is, we're right in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight this guy real quick. Probably a bad idea. <laughs> Probably a bad idea. But what I need to do is just... Okay. Scary. Oof, okay. So we gotta swap that out ASAP. Oh, that probably ruined the whole dungeon. That's so unfortunate. That is so unlucky. Okay. Dang. Alright, whatever. So, let's just try to do this with uh, <laughs> what we have here. This pretty much ruined everything. I probably should have just avoided the Findles. The Findles really destroyed the run. That is so unfortunate. They took all the SP, everything. Oh my god, that is so unlucky. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll try it out. I really don't think, and I kept myself up front, so it didn't even do anything but waste a potion and SP. So let's try to go ahead and go through this. This is probably a failed run, but that's fine. Tis a fine day to kicketh thy bucket. <laughs> and I'm dead. Oh, I'm surprisingly alive. But I doubt I'll survive for long. Yeah, as you can see, they hit pretty hard. But I hit pretty hard as well. They don't have their potions yet. Let me take a look at his moveset again. Strongest and closest. I'm safest in the back. I can technically keep healing. But I want to do as much damage as possible. As you can see, this double Eularius strat is working quite well, but they are losing health. And if I had not died, I could have taken one life right here and it would have been fine, but this might be GG's depending on the deflect procs. Oh, we got it. Nice. Victory. First try two and we had a hiccup. That is crazy that we, get, that we did that. So let's go and go to town. I'll take that dub. We actually managed to get through this area with just one legendary, something I didn't think was possible. Let's go ahead and check out the last dungeon, find and defeat the trilogy. We get more gems, which is nice as always. Let's go ahead and enter. Again, same old team, same carries, uh, best carries in the game. Let's go ahead and accept. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through this dungeon. I will see you at the boss. Enjoy the content. So we are at the Trilogy. Closest enemy. Strongest enemy. Heals target. Okay. And damage to all. Now they have quite a bit of speed and a decent amount of health. Pretty good stat distribution. So, again, they seem like they're just going to be nuking the front end. It just seems like a stronger um, Candle Bros with a heal and a damage all. So it's kind of like a mix of Candle Bros and Marm. 
So they are kind of problematic, but they also aren't. Only because um, they're just nuking the front end. Um, it's fine. You should have carries. If not, then you might struggle. I still recommend you take them out first, only because the ones behind them for my run are two marms, and marms are very, very doable for sure. So you'd want to take him out first, just attack closest with all the strongest abilities you have for closest or strongest enemy, because I believe they are the strongest, yeah, this is uh, 592, so your first strongest hit would hit them, so you would want to take them out for sure, as your first option, that is. Alright, there we are. Ah, we are done with tier 8. And now... Goodbye, Galarian. Let's go and check out the next area. Oh yeah, new adventures await you in Ashlyn. Let's go, tier 9 gamers. Oh yeah. <laughs> tier 9, let's go. As you can see by clicking on my mount, we are now on tier 9. Now let's go ahead and go over the loot recap for all the stuff tier 9. Let's go to world boss. Alright, and we will go to summon. Summon again, nether as always. Go to tier 9 right there. And boom, we have new mythics, new sets. Again, don't recommend going for them. They're nice, they're not worth going for at the moment. Just try to get on by. Here are your legendaries that you're going to be aiming for. Now, for tier 9, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure you're going to need at least 2 to 4 um, maxed out legendaries. So this is where a big uh, amount of players quit the game because they think they can just keep doing with epics, 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 and you cannot. So if I were you... You're going to try to save one legendary for each area of your body, except for your main hand. And maybe not each area, maybe like body, head, ring, neck, and um, offhand. You can choose uh, two or three between each of those, but I'd say three. And then you would start scrapping. That way you don't have to hope you get um, an offhand if you need an offhand. Maybe you'll be unlucky, you'll just keep getting whatever you already maxed out, or main hands, and you'll be able to use them, it'll be unfortunate. So, try to hold on to some legendaries before you max any of them, or put any points in them. That way you already have some preset ones that you want to max out, just in case. So, here's the loot, um, for the world boss. We have GVG right now, so I can't show you anything from there. Gauntlet, Charles Gauntlet, let's go ahead and check out the tier 9. Oh! Let me go ahead and finish up these dungeons real quick, and I will show you the gauntlet. Be right back. Alright, and we are back. Let's go ahead and check out those gauntlet drops. Now we're going to go to the lowest possible. I'm not going to be able to do it, but it's just, just checking it out. Okay. Let's go to rewards. Oh no, sorry. The treasure chest. As you can see here, we have our tier 9 mythics and our tier 9 sets. This right here was my favorite set for the longest time. It's still probably my favorite set to date, only because it looks so cool. Unfortunately, I really recommend against farming it. It's only good for its cosmetics right now. Don't, don't get me wrong, it's a great set, but it's just not worth going for at the current moment. I highly, highly recommend going against getting any sets or mythics. Again, I will not stress that enough. Here's some legendaries, pretty nice looking legendaries themselves, and some epics. Your main focus is going to be legendaries this tier, and a little bit of epics. You're probably going to have a little bit of both, but mostly legendaries. Again, avoid a main hand legendary at all costs. Use an epic if you can all the way to the end. Okay, and let's go to raid. Let's check out raid. As you can see here, we now have Mallowdale. Summon. Gasp. Look over there. A giant mallow storm is approaching. If you don't get up there, the evil Columbus will ruin all of our family's slop crops. What will I bathe in? 
<laughs> That's disgusting. Okay, so as normal, uh, oh, as normal, as normal, normal gives nothing, hard gives 200%, item find, and 50% capture rate, and heroic, which is what you're gonna want to do every time, is going to be 400% item find and 100% capture rate. Let's go ahead and check out heroic. We're gonna go ahead and do one run. Again, the same old, same old layout. Uh, don't really have to go through it. If you really have a question about it, hit me up in the comments or ask someone. They will be more than happy to help you out. But with carries, you should not need to worry about it. Let's go ahead and go on through. Ooh, okay. New familiar. So uh, here he is, Brumber. He has 15% damage reduction. So he is definitely the tank. He has closest, strongest enemy, furthest, and shield self. So you don't really have to worry about him as long as you have the layout, which is going to be tank bait, DPS, DPS, tank, or tank bait, you, DPS, bait, uh, whatever you want. I am pretty confident with my team, so I don't worry about where I'm at. We have uh, Sprawler. He's 15% damage. He's going to be one of the DPS fams. Very low stam. No need to worry about him. Heavy hitter, though. Closest, weakest. Now, he's going to be attacking your bait. Baits will be absorbing all those weakest hits, for sure. Uh, closest and yourself, which means he hits pretty hard there. And random, the only attack you have to worry for so far is going to be this random. But he is a very low speed, and it is a very high requirement at a 2 SP for a random. And this guy here in the back... Flitty, that's a cute name. We have closest, okay, random, and attacks three times. Now that is gonna hit quite hard, but his stam is extremely low. Probably the lowest I've ever seen so far, but his attack is gnarly. He will be hitting whoever he hits extremely hard. So if you don't have extremely high carries like I do, and you have some carries that say around tier 10 to tier 12, he might be giving you some problems. Um, attacks closest and target enemy. I recommend you take him out first only because this right here is pretty devastating. So he will be target number one for sure. I'm going to auto on through this till we get to the boss. So please enjoy the content. Welcome to Mallowdale, what I guess in your position, Evildale. Mwahahahaha! Ha! Evildale, get it? It's like Mallowdale, but with the word evil, because I'm a bad boy. Mwahahaha! Mwahahaha! <laughs> okay, so it seems like you're going to be having this guy up front. I'm not sure if it's an every time thing. It seems like he comes with a mega variant of one of the familiars. So here's his closest, weakest, and closest enemy, and to himself, and random. So yeah, he's pretty strong, but again, carry should uh, get rid of these guys like nothing. As you can see here though, I am taking quite a bit of damage already. Once you hit tier 9, tier 10, your carries are going to start mattering a little more often uh, than not. So I would be working on your carries as you go through the game for sure. You're going to want to try to get a current tier carry on your list. Try to get three. Your main goal is try to get four. One for each class. You'll be fine. But um, I recommend getting as many carries as possible in the current tier. Let's go ahead and take a look at Columbus. He does closest enemy. Closest enemy to himself, which means he does pretty chunky damage. As you can see, almost 2k. Not too bad for 1 SP. Um, furthest enemy. Good thing we have a tank in the back. Random enemy. This has a lot of random enemy damage in this uh raid so it is pretty problematic and spread heal so he is pretty strong but he's pretty slow i would honestly probably prioritize the guy up front because he has a weakest so if you're struggling prioritize the guy up front and then columbus it depends on who's up front just read the skills as i've taught you and you should be fine you should be able to work around it don't forget you still have potions in uh, raids it may not seem like it but you do i mean i didn't have to do that just to show you and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and auto on through this Alright, so we didn't get anything significant, unfortunately, but we did go ahead and get one legendary material to start us off, which is nice. 
Um, let's go to town. I believe I forgot to show you the loot drop here. So let's go ahead and go summon and check out the loot. Has its own mythics for sure. Curios as always. And two mythic schematics that are not going to be useful to us. Now, this set seems pretty... Um, pretty nice you're gonna want it because it looks so nice the skills seem really good and it has a laser as a gun or as a weapon so you're gonna want to use it but trust me trust me when I say this it is a waste of time going for this set it is very nice don't get me wrong but do not waste your time going for this set it will literally hinder you it will put you at a stopping point for sure it takes a long time to max out the set if you are free to play without any boost popping or any um, um material uh farming like let's say you're popping a bunch of badges or something like that unless you're doing a bunch of that in this tier which i highly recommend you do not do until current tier you save all of those buffs and all of those um materials and resources until current tier that is the best tip i can give you just free to play all the way through if possible just get legendaries i know what i'm telling you i know it doesn't seem as appealing but just get legendaries you guys are almost there you're literally halfway there here you are halfway there so we're gonna go ahead and exit on here so that's pretty much everything for the tier um we're pretty much done with this episode i'd like to thank you all so much uh for watching the series and uh growing with me and all you veterans for helping out people in the comment section or just uh joining the adventure with me um i really appreciate it you guys are really awesome i'm doing this for you guys i'm not doing this for me at all i don't care about the views i don't care about the subscribes i don't care about the likes they're nice don't get me wrong but at the end of the day i am making this series to help you out so if you have any questions please join one of the discords below ask me in the comment section or if you see me in game and you have me on your list go ahead and ask me uh, any questions i don't mind answering but again thank you so much for being a part of this community you guys are really awesome stay strong guys peace out